And he leans over and he's like, Hey, did you remember to shave your armpits today? The story just gets like, yeah, Blair showed up and like, she has these bushes under her arm. I'm like, oh my god. Are you ready to rumble? Are you eating pickles? No, dude. What? Potatoes. Oh. I was Mar so excited slash jealous for pickles? a second. No, I don't have any, but I love them. Do I have any? I have two jars. One for, for me what? and one for me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Great. Peak for test fun. back! Oh, shoot. Ah! I feel like mom's fine. Balls! Oh, so early. You can say balls. I'm talking about the toy. Okay. Safe. Why are you eating potatoes at one in the morning? Because I cooked to stay awake. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the pajama party. Whine about it. We're here. <laughs> Whine about it. Pajama time. Yeah. We're wearing matching pajamas on purpose. It's 1 a.m. My time. Maya's internet was broken because she's poor. Oh. Dude, we had a really bad storm today. And it took out my tiny house internet. I'm in a hot spot right now. If you weren't poor, this wouldn't be a problem. That's not the problem. It is. I decided to wear my hood and it looks stupid, so I'm taking it off. How was Disneyland? Uh, um, so great. I'm on day four. Closed out day four of Disney week. Woo! Yeah! Woo, 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 there can't woo, woo, be that much to do there. Surely. <laughs> Let me tell you. There you is. You just do them over? Yes. <laughs> huh. We don't miss a show. We don't miss a parade. There's ten kids, eight adults. It is a week for the legends. And I think the kids are just going to keep coming. You know, I think there's just going to be more kids. Um, are your legs tired? My feet hurt quite a bit. My legs aren't tired. Um... I've been successfully getting sleep finally, thanks to Benzos. <laughs> I know. I don't really want to be taking benzos, benzos, but like, what are you supposed to do? The psychiatrist Your gave sleep them to me. Has been whack. Mine? Uh huh. Yeah, it's been whack, whack a doodle do. But I, I went to therapy today, and she told me I need to switch to the trasnodone, which I also got prescribed. I don't like prescriptions, for the record. I, know. I hate them. Uh, Maya's seen all the conversations I've had with my very patient psychiatrist. She's so nice. She's really nice. Um, Not because I... Can you send me screenshots? Yeah. I send her screenshots. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my, my psychiatrist is super patient with me. and She wants me to try the trasnodone because you're le less likely to develop a dependency on it. I just want to sleep like a normal human. I don't know when that's going to come back. My anxiety levels do feel feel lower. Every day that's gone by, I feel like I'm starting to think straight again. So, we're getting there. We're almost back, baby. Hopefully. Though I was, I will say, yesterday, I was walking around Disney and I looked at Ludwig and I was like, what if I have cancer? And he was oh, like, man. what? And I was like, suddenly I can't sleep and my ears have been itchy lately. Inside of them. Explain that. Cancer. We have matching pajama pants. Mm. I well, said that, and you ignored it. And you're wearing my merch. I did not ignore it. I wear your merch Do you want to hear time. something exciting mm -hmm. that I haven't told you that I'm telling you live for the first time right now? Okay. Um, we might have a new logo soon for Wine About It. Why? Because remember forever ago when I commissioned that artist that I love to use? I love no. to use this artist. Uh, she did the E-Girl Rejects logo. She did... She's done... All this camp merch for me. She's like my favorite person to work with. She's like very, very talented. Okay. Um, but she's really expensive. Um, as she should be, my queen. Um, anyway, I think she. I reached out to her forever ago before we were going to reboot because we were hoping to have a new logo by the time we rebooted. Mm -hmm. um, and she's just been super busy. But she messaged me and she was like, hey. Uh, if you have free time, I'm ready to show you my ideas. So that's exciting. Whoa, yeah, we tried to get a new logo, and we got, like, seven, and Cutie hated all of them, so we just I didn't change them. it. 
I'm so picky. Yeah. She but this everything. girl, every single thing she's ever showed me, I've loved. So that's sick. Optimistic, and uh, I think we would use her stuff for merch designs too. So that's sick. Wine about it merch coming soon. That's actually really fun and exciting. That I'm announcing right Can now. Can we do the wine tour? I'm thirsty. Wine pour. Okay, the wine of the week. Maya, introduce it. Um, it's because Cutie's on prescription medication. <laughs> Gatorade, man. Audio listeners, it's Red Gatorade. Audio listeners, it's Moonshine Week. No. Woo-hoo! Yuck. Moonshine Week, everybody. <laughs> oh, God. do the twist for the mic, please. Uh, just so everyone knows, this is a <laughs> Thirst Quencher Fruit Punch, uh, 20 ounce. It looks like the year is probably 2020. It does have Red 40, which you should avoid, but you know what? We're here it's for it. really bad for women. Uh, featuring, um, 80 grams of potassium, zero grams of protein. That's a lot. Oh. Uh, 36 grams of carbohydrates, 34 grams of those being sugar, and 27 milligrams, or 207 milligrams of sodium, which is kind of a lot. Dude, the knife and rubber mallet was actually easier than opening this. I'm exhausted. Uh, here's my twist, ASMR. Okay, that's Wait, you're strong. Well, I think. <gasps> oh, my night's ruined. Audio listeners, I peed. One four. It's not the same. It's not the same at all. <laughs> mm. That really sounds like pee. Oh, you're really. Okay, we can do it that way. Dude, I'm being Whoa, wild tonight. I would have never thought that would fit in there. Wait. That's 20 ounces? So you're telling me, audio listeners, we just found out that my wine glass Wait, fits why is a whole so entire bottle of so Gatorade. Small. Wait, what's yours at? I don't know. Less. I'm 20 ounces. You look like 16 one. or 12. This is 12. Oh, yeah, I'm 20. Bingo bongo. Hello. Uh, this is the best wine we've ever had. <laughs> Oh my god, this, this is, is so, so good. This is so good. It's so good. Honestly, I recommend this wine. Mmm. <laughs> Delightful. Hi, I There's love it. There's some hints it. of, um... Cherry. Thirst quenching. Fruit punch. <laughs> Yummy. Um, I will have you know, in between our last attempt... I'm so serious. We tried to we tried to film today at 3 p.m. and then space was troubleshooting for over an hour to try to get me internet up here, and I was mad. Was and best. I was like, we can't do this because one, it's too late now, and two, I was pissed. I'm I was mad. Yeah, that damn. That's not good. Um, but we're back. We're back and and moving and going and moving. Um, I will have you know, I did some research. In between our first attempt and this attempt, mm-hmm. I went on a podcast rabbit hole again. Uh huh. This time, I learned about sex workers. Which ones? The scary ones or the real ones? The scary ones. <gasps> we cannot talk blah, blah, about blah, blah. them. See, this is what I was worried about. But oh. Oh. does it actually freak you out? You're not outside, so it's fine. I'm not outside, so it's fine. I'm highly medicated. <laughs> I'm actually not highly medicated. I should be, maybe. Wait, so you're gonna be epiphany? Fine, so but I'll be fine. But before we talk about that, real quick, I had an epiphany. Apparently, I'm depressed. I My therapist told me today. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> She's like, here's my epiphany. Okay, everyone, let me have... Here's a trauma dump moment of the podcast. Do, 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 trauma dump. Um, uh, I uh, was at Disneyland. We go to Disney Week, by the way, is my family's tradition. We do it every year for my mother's birthday and Mother's Day. Because um, sadly, they are right on each other, uh, usually. They're around the same time. Um, and so uh, it's rough. It's rough. Last night we're like watching uh, on Mother's Day. We're watching the fireworks and I'm just sobbing on Main Street. And poor mm. Ludwig just has to sit there with the weird sobbing girl at Disneyland. <laughs> mm. 
I've seen people cry at Disneyland before, and I'm always the first one to judge them. Like, what a fucking weirdo. And then there's me where it's like, it's like, I look once more just around the river. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> So you told your therapist that, and she was like, oh, yeah, you're depressed no, for sure. No, no, no. This was, this was the epiphany. So on Mother's Day, we always stay until midnight, no matter okay. what. So so my brother my brother, and my brother's wife sends – she goes to the hotel with the kids, and he stays. And my sister, uh, their kids are with her husband. And, you know, and so it's like the siblings okay. and Ludwig because we took the same car. And we don't have kids to take care of. Um, and uh, we just sit. There's this table we sit at at the, the Jolly Cafe. Anyone who knows Disney. We sit there uh, until midnight. And we just kind of like chit chat about our mom a little bit. Um, and it's just like. it's We're mostly quiet though. Because my family doesn't talk about feelings. Um, and one topic of conversation was like. My brother was like. You know I'm really glad that we do this. Because my mother, for the record, she, like, you guys think I love Disney. She loved Disney. Like, she loved that shit. She loved it. The only, I think part of the only reason I love it is because of her. Um, she loved it. And she would always, always, always try to get us to go as a family. So if you're that asshole that rolls your eyes whenever your mom's trying to, like, do family vacations, just fucking go on them, dude. I'm telling you right now, you'll regret it if you don't. Um... She'd always try to get us to go, but someone always had an excuse, blah, blah. She could never get us all to go. Uh, I think the last time we all went together was probably like 2009 or some shit, mm -hmm. like crazy. And so we're talking about it and my brother's like, I'm so happy we do this. And my sister's like, yeah, mom would be so happy. And I, you know, Wednesday Adams chime in. I'm like, don't you feel guilty? And they're like, what? And I was like, don't you feel fucking awful? That we do it without her. Don't you feel just so sad that she's not here and she's left out from this one thing that she would love more than anything in the world? And they were like, they were like, you can't think like that. And I'm like, oh. And so I go to, I go to my therapist today and she was like, yeah, you think like that because you're depressed. And I'm like. <laughs> I was I'm like, surprised that you're surprised. Are you surprised that she said that? I thought this was normal way of thinking i thought everyone was perpetually guilty i well guilt and i didn't depression i didn't think are... you had to be depressed to feel this way i don't think that you have to be de depressed to feel that way mm. but i don't know i'm lost mm. i'm saying were you surprised for her to say that she that you're depressed i was surprised for her to say that that specific sentence was depression oh yeah i don't like, know about that uh, but it was interesting because I was like, I it was something I said. I was like, well, if I'm not depressed, then it feels like if I'm not so sad all the time about not having my mother, then it feels like you feel bad. I feel I feel bad that I'm not. You know what you should you know? listen to? What? The, the Widowed Mom podcast. The Widowed Mom podcast. <laughs> she talks a lot about grief. It's very why, interesting. Why were you in? Why did you? You like lost a <laughs> note. Like no one it was good Your family is whole that's not true i have lost people who byron my okay, my my sister's friend from high school <laughs> let's do a lost off <laughs> yeah okay you win <laughs> everybody list who you've lost <laughs> no i really Sorry, don't have that many though us. i really um, don't don't have that many no it's, it's only a it's couple whatever it's fine. It's fine. It's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. <laughs> this is depressing. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, okay. But I thought that was interesting. Um, and I also think it's lame that I feel like I have to perma be depressed. Otherwise, you know I what feel my like therapist always I'm says? not doing her justice. Huh? You know what my therapist says? Every time I talk about guilt, because I have issues with guilt as well, she says... And underneath guilt is anger. So what are you angry about? She said every time. Every time. And every time I'm like, I don't Audio know. It doesn't I'm feel panicking. related. It's like they don't feel related. But Audio she says listeners, it every time. I don't know what I'm mad about. And I trust her with my life. So she's right. What am I mad about? I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I don't know. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. 
see what I'm mad about. I don't know what I'm mad about. This is turning into an actual therapy session. Keith's going to start crying. My... This is... Uh, do you want to hear a nice brother thing? <laughs> Brothers should be more mean. Okay. I go to Disneyland. We're at Disneyland. I take my jacket off. wear it in a tank top. Living my life. We're in line for Star Wars. And he leans over and he's like, Hey. <laughs> did you remember to shave your armpits today? The nicest way someone could tell you that your sh armpits are not shaved. <laughs> was it valid? Or was it like justified? Yeah. Well, oh. no. How about... it's? It was like stubble. Like it was like... Yeah, you know, two days not shaved. Okay, but then as then I'm I would like, be oh. mad, I was a little like, ugh. And, but I put my sweater on. I'm like, oh, I'm a little embarrassed. But then I looked and I was like, it's not that bad. But then, as the day goes on, the story just gets like, yeah, Blair showed up and like she has these bushes under her <laughs> arm. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like my brother shows my other brother shows up late and my brother's like, yeah, you should see Blair's armpits. They're massive. <laughs> It just like slowly got where my dad calls. He's like, you need to teach your daughter how to shave her armpits. Oh my God. Oh, I know. And then so proudly I shave my armpits. I show up on Sunday and I'm like, check it out. My brother-in-law is like, you missed a spot. So now every day I'm like getting my armpits checked. It's That's a lot of pressure. Have you noticed the armpit coomers lately? No, I don't have any. Mm. What do you mean lately? It's new. No feels new to me there's been armpit porn since the 1960s that's I'm googling it a crazy thing to say Arm and i don't think that's true armpit porn 1962 armpit h hd tube search 19 you're just gonna videos. find armpit nude porn. vista oh my gosh okay these are 62 year olds anyway oh, no! <laughs> Anyway, when I say, have you noticed the armpit coomers, it's because they didn't used to be so prominent. It was, it was, it was feet. It, it always is, has been feet, right? Always will be uh -huh. feet. But like. I gotta clear my search history it real was, quick. <laughs> you didn't do that incognito? No, I didn't. On I your, ripped it. Are you okay? Are you streaming PC? It's crazy. Dude, I live um, on the edge. Um, 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 um. Oh yeah, it was like it was feet. mostly feet, and then uh, I had a I had a phase where I had sneeze clippers. Yeah, I learned that sneeze, sneeze clippers they use a they use a bot to find when chat spams bless you, mm. and that's how they find their clip. That's how they find their good stuff. Yeah, so there's that. But then lately, <gasps> it's been armpits. Do you think if you're into sneezes, this is hypothetical, by the way, I'm not into sneezes, just prefacing that. I have always said sneezes is the closest thing that I can compare, like a, to an a, a you've, cross, you've done that to yeah, me. a cross sex no, experience, <laughs> like, <laughs> you haven't done that to me, you, you've explained that to me, you, a cross sex experience before. is like, uh -huh. Uh, orgasm is like a sneeze like the buildup of like a tickle in your nose you have to sneeze and if you don't it's like damn it you know yeah then like you do, it's, like, it's like yeah it's it's very similar i think or at least that's the, why the concept. i wonder specifically if you have said that and then some coomer that was a i mean soft while sneezing it's been a long time you, since you since know? there's been sneeze or sneeze clippers it's romantic but yeah armpit armpit coomer clippers or at it really right i wonder if there's like a wiki armpit is there i'm, I'm, I'm sure there it. is wiki feet but for <laughs> armpits oh this twitter post says how come there's a wiki feet but no wiki pits oh drama well you know what hey guys I will judge you, but get on out there. If you're listening right now and you want to be the guy who makes mm, wiki pits. No, you don't need to do that. You could, though. You could be the no, guy. No, don't. Really? Don't. You're holding them back. Yes. The people. Don't. Okay, so you studied sex workers. What do you have to say about them? Yeah, 
And when she says sex workers, she means skinwalkers. I did a Whoa! whole... You're not supposed to say the word. How do you live I did in a, a tiny house and you feel fine talking about that by yourself right now? Excellent question and segue. Uh -huh. I don't believe in anything. And I, sometimes I wish I did because I think it would be a little more fun. I cannot get myself to. I can't. And I've had, I've had door slam, like, a door slamming problem. Like, I've had, I've woken up with scratches. I've heard giggling. I heard whatever. And I cannot be like. You heard giggling? Yeah, sure. Where? What do you mean, sure? I don't know. <laughs> like, in high school, in my That's room? That's not a sure thing. You just heard it in your room? I had a big... You woke uh... up with scratches. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I used to sleep with a... First of all, I used to sleep with okay. a miniature pig in my bed. Um, so oh, it could well, have been the pig. The scratches, but yeah. it wasn't pig scratches, because they only got two little hooves, you know? It was like... <laughs> But, and anyway, the giggling was when I was in high school and I had this like big sliding door closet. It sounded like it came from with the closet. But that's what I'm, the point is, I could never be like, that's a ghost or like, that's a sex worker or that's a blank. You I just could never do it. No, I also don't think that. Okay, cool. I just, uh, in college, my house in college, my door would slam all the time in the middle of the night with all windows closed. It made no sense. And I still can't, I just can't bring myself to care or be afraid of it or think that's that it's nice. anything paranormal or supernatural. So that's, that's the beginning of this conversation why I had no problem listening to these podcasts today. Okay. Um, but I listened to two podcasts on Skinwalker Ranch. Are you familiar? Yeah, I've heard about it. I've heard about it. Apparently they have a show on Hulu. Yeah, like Hulu. the the OG reality TV. Um it's a ranch in Utah and it's like 500 plus Utah? acres and this couple bought it as yeah, their home. Did, isn't at one point like the government like shut down that ranch like for or the government was like seizing some land on that ranch because they like there were so many UFO spottings and shit like that. I don't know about the government. I know I'm about a billionaire. I'm too scared to Google it. That's crazy. Um, no, a normal couple bought it as, like, their home. Oh, years, and when they bought it, apparently, this is what I learned in the podcast, there were, like, bolt locks on all the doors and all the windows, but they were just like, oh, weird, whatever, and they bought it. Um, and then they had weird experiences there like the wife thought that she was getting dementia because she would like put things places and then they wouldn't be there anymore and then the Dude, husband the saw Tuesday. yeah and then the husband saw a really big wolf walking around um and then it attacked his attacked one of his calves the cows and mm -hmm. uh then he shot at it and nothing happened and then it just walked away and then they kept oh. losing <laughs> livestock and stuff like that. Um, and it went on for a number of years until the family was like, we can't do this anymore. And then this crazy billionaire was a mm -hmm, ton of money. Mm -hmm. came in and bought it because he's obsessed with, like, supernatural stuff and paranormal stuff. Dude, and billionaires need better hobbies. I guess. But, yeah, they've just been monitoring it for 10 years. And apparently a bunch of weird, kooky stuff happened over there. Like what? Uh, UFOs and skinwalkers and oh by the way you know how you said that your friends saw like a little man child run into the woods yeah I also read about dwarf cannibals in Utah today what what I don't know <laughs> what kid shaped what? people moving like adults that cannibalize humans <laughs> what yeah that sounds offensive this is real? Maybe. I don't know. It's not... I mean, it's the same... It's as real as skinwalkers it? are. I looked it up. <laughs> I, just, I just read what some... What were you Googling? I looked up... I probably started with skinwalkers. You keep saying it. You've got to stop. Um... The whole thing started from Navajo culture. And it's anything... If it's a... If it's an... There are people that think that they're, like, medicine men that reached the highest level of magic that they l learned about. Stop laughing. And then when they get to that point, <laughs> Audio they can... Audio listeners, stupid-ass look on her face. <laughs> and when they get to that point, 
then they can decide to use it for evil, and so uh, they turn into a skinwalker. But if Wicked. you're a person and you turn into a skinwalker, you have animal eyes. Um, if you're a person, you turn into an animal skinwalker, or you you go to like look like a a crow or like a wolf or something, then you're then you have human eyes. Why don't you become one if you're not so afraid of them? Because they're not real and it's not possible. Do it. Puss it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's all that I learned. I just, I just, you know, it was a good time. You can't do that deep dive and have two half stories. I can tell you the full version of those stories. I just thought it would be aggressive. Oh, well, that's the point of a podcast is talking. Okay, so... When they first moved to the property... Ooh, guys, are you driving to work right now? Are you spooked? No, because it's morning time. You can get spooked in the morning. I guess. Oh, you want to hear a spooky thing if you're driving to work right now? Uh, there have been sightings of skinwalkers in Utah where you're driving along a back road or a highway going like 50, and then they come up next to your car window and they run at the same speed looking at you while you're driving. Yeah, but they're like coyotes and shit. They don't have to be. They can be can anything. Can be humans? It could they be a crow. Be it could be- oh. it could be a wolf. It could I'll be a what. person. Utah- Utah stock is plummeting right now. Yeah. Yeah. This doesn't happen in Provo. Those are LDS missionaries chasing next to you. <laughs> have you heard They're about the so wisdom fast. of the Lord? <laughs> They're so fast. <laughs> Excuse me, what are you doing on Monday? Have you heard of family home evening? I don't know what that is. That's for Mormons. That's a Mormon joke. Okay, I'm going to tell you the story, but it's not going to be good because okay. I'm not going to tell it with very much gusto. Guys, I, if you're driving to work, buckle up. Okay. <laughs> right you now, have done undo that anyway. your buckle. No! Undo your buckle no! and redo it back up right now. No, okay, so when this family bought the property, okay, okay. What is the family's so, name? I don't remember. Are we, Cheryl? Is this, is this plagiarism of another podcast? Are we just stealing another podcast? I'm straight up repeating a YouTube video. Yep. That podcast or youtube video i just want he seemed really nice actually oh anyway okay so the family moved there back. right it begins with they have all these all the doors and windows and everything they're double bolted and they're like that's weird the, the people that the people that lived here were probably just really paranoid um and then there were these huge chains in the back um attached to posts in the ground and they're like man they had huge guard dogs here that's weird um but went on with it whatever and then one day, the wife came home with groceries, and then she put all the groceries away. And then she went to another room, and she came back, and all the groceries were back in the bag. And she was- or back in the bags. And she was like, I'm losing my mind. Right? And then, later, a few days later, she went to take a shower, and she put a towel out for herself, took a shower, got out of the shower, there's no towel. And she's like, I have dementia. Right? But she kept it to herself, because she was like, oh, I'm just- I'm losing my mind, I don't want to tell my family This would be so yet. bad for me. <laughs> yeah. That would be if really bad. I moved into that house. Oh my god. Yeah, it'd be really bad. Yeah. Okay, so then the father is out in the field and he sees this wolf walking around, which is like, okay, whatever, there are wolves here. It's a wolf. He's walking around. Whatever. He's a farmer. But then he looks at closer what and is he's he watching. What farming anyway? Cattle. Oh, <gasps> gasp. Sad. Yeah. So. He's watching the wolf walk from, like, far away, like, hundreds of yards away. Maybe Okay, that's an exaggeration. He couldn't see it that far. Maybe, like, a hundred yards away. And he's watching it walk along, along his fence line, and he put in the fence line so he knows how far apart the posts are. And they're, like, six feet apart, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he was watching it walk along the fence, and then he saw that the front and back of it lined with the, aligned with the fence. So it was, like, that's a six-foot-long six wolf, and he was like, that's not right. Like, that's, that's as big as the Ludwig. biggest that's the biggest wolf I've ever seen. It's as tall as me. Like, that's the biggest wolf I've ever seen. Yeah. And then, here's where it gets weird. Spooky. Yeah, say it. <laughs> say it with some gusto. So his dad comes out, and they're looking at the wolf, and the wolf turns and walks towards them, and for some reason they're not scared, and it walks up to his dad, and his dad pets it, like a dog. He's wagging it. The wolf is wagging his tail. They pet it. They pet it. Okay. They, they pet it. And then- this feels like a mistake. As, a, as yeah. a wildlife conservationist myself, I don't advise on that. Preach. So then the wolf walks away, and then 
um, walks up to a cattle pen that they have because they have all these baby calves in, eats in this cow. pen. It grabs a calf's head in its mouth and tries to like rip it through the fence. And that's when the dad gets the rifle out and is like shooting this wolf, which is not a wolf, it's a sex worker, and nothing happens. And then it turned around and it went into the trees. And then his cow started going missing and he's like, what the heck? So then he would like follow his little cow footprints into the forest and then they would just disappear. And he was like, what the heck? Turns out skinwalkers can look you in the eye and possess you. So the wolf was probably just walking around making eye contact with all these cows and then walking them off into the woods. Which is bad because what are people getting for a head of cattle back, you know, back in those days? That's just, that's just, this is living. What? <laughs> Did you know that I got DDoSed once? No, I didn't. Tell me about that, Maya. I got, I got DDoSed in 2019 because I was being a silly goose and was not using a VPN, specifically a NordVPN.com slash whineabout. You wouldn't use NordVPN.com What happens when you get DDoSed because you're not using NordVPN? They got me, they got my IP, and then they got uh, I didn't good, have dude. internet, yeah, and I didn't have internet for several days because I had to physically go and exchange my router. Yeah, but now if you don't have internet for several days, you might as well be churning butter. It's 2023. Yeah, and I'm a streamer. And you're so a streamer. I really need the internet. But now I'm fine, and I don't have to worry about getting DDoS because I use NordVPN.com slash whineabout. And you guys might be a little confused because we're saying Nord vpn.com slash wine about there's no it and we did that on purpose because we want to keep it simple for you so it's nordvpn.com slash wine about yep and it's 30 day risk free or your money back money back guaranteed don't yep. get ddos yep. don't let people see your privates your privates yep okay yep and you, you can stay this. safe and you can protect your safe. data data and, and it's portable and, and it's affordable guaranteed. and you can watch and download on any device and nobody likes fishing no one likes fishing true so stop it avoid the fishing with nordvpn you can download it now it's in our description nordvpn.com slash wine about hooray check Thanks, it out Nord. we appreciate it thank you nord for sponsoring wine about it our first official sponsor wow that's it that's it well, that's darn right spooky, I'll tell you that much. We should go visit. We should? No. We're not allowed to. It's not open to the public and there are no tours I checked. I was we, I was like, wow, we can make it a Patreon goal. <laughs> no, we would literally <laughs> never. I would like to keep that very uh, clear. We should do spooky stuff. No. Why? Because I don't want to. <laughs> It'd be so funny. We could do, we could do like a, a video like staying overnight in the most haunted hotel or like staying in this ho haunted hotel room i'm so the not same thing. interested uh when i did my ghost did you see my ghost hunting stream no so i used to i don't know why i guess it's the spring and we don't have much to talk about besides high school grad graduation which by the way congrats graduates enjoy your prom it should be over hopefully oh did you lose your virginity on prom? Did you have sex on prom night? No, before. Did you have sex on prom night, though? Nope. I was too tired. It was the plan. But I was too tired. I went to three proms, though. With the same why? guy. Can you believe that? Ew, why? What's the point? You're just showboating. We were in a relationship. Why are you going to so many proms? Because I was a year younger. So when I was a sophomore, I went to his junior prom. Then we went to our junior he and senior prom. He did not. He came and then back. And he came back for my senior prom. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I'm so Why embarrassed. Why is that embarrassing? For him. Dude, are you kidding me? No. You have to go back to a high school prom? Oh, yuck. Ew. He was. That's I don't so think that was lame. That... I don't. No, it's lame. It's lame. That's lame. Audio listeners, she's acting confused and coy. It seemed fine. And maybe to me. constipated. <laughs> No, I'm good. Oh. Um. No, that's so weird. Okay. Hater. I am a hater. What were we I'm just talking at... about? Your I ghost stream. I know, but I just took my band-aid off. 
because I had a little callus on my finger because, you know, I lift weights. Yuck. Yeah. And I took my Band-Aid off and it looks like there was blood on it, but I never bled. And so I'm like, what the? F oh, it was makeup. It's a cancer. Oh. <laughs> Don't say it's the cancer. <laughs> it's not cancer. Uh, I'm fine. I was just have anxiety apparently and depression. Uh, I saw a TikTok today of a girl that said when she was a kid and she had a therapist, her therapist told her to think of anxiety as like a little buddy that just tags along and is trying to take care of you. And she said it helps her separate her anxiety from herself and also bop him on the head if he's being cringe. Okay. <laughs> That doesn't help me. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sort of the shot. Um, anyway, I, uh, um... Ghost hunting stream. Ghost hunting stream, but I had a comment about lo Spring. losing my body in high school, which I didn't do. I, I had a comment about prom, but I don't remember. Um, okay. Ghost hunting stream. I used to go on ghost tours around Halloween time. Because I love history, and usually what ghost tours are is they take you to this place, they tell you a spooky story, and then you drive to the next place, they tell you a spooky story. At least that's what I was used to with ghost tours. So I, I have my uh, lovely assistant at the time find us a ghost tour in LA, and I'm like, this will be great, this person looks great. And she's like, oh, this is where they've worked with other YouTubers, I'm like, people pog wow. So I get a group together, it was like me and Emma Langevin, and like... Uh, Myth, oh, and right, yeah. Nikki, and uh, I forgot people, and they'll be a fan. Oh, JHB was there. <laughs> <laughs> no! Ah, I forgot JHB. <laughs> Not JHB team. I forgot some people. Uh, I probably Dude, forgot someone else. funny story, quick, very quick story about JHB yeah. team. I went to a soccer, I went to a pickup soccer game yesterday, and, um, just and like he was playing. <laughs> no, no, no. There's like some random, five random people that live in Austin. I, I don't uh -huh. know most of them um and there was one guy brunette like skinny white kid shirt off playing soccer is what and there were four it. there were four girls sitting on the bench watching and they were calling him jhb team they're like Why? go jhb i don't know i think it was a joke because he was just like a skinny white kid with brown hair <laughs> with his shirt off like running around <laughs> like he got he got with a ball really hard and he's like shirtless so it went like <laughs> and all the girls on the bench were like no jhb and i was like what are they talking about <laughs> uh, that's good. That's pretty good i uh i um i called chat g what is it GPT? chat gbt i call it GPT. chat jhb <laughs> It's my favorite thing. And I, <laughs> recently, I was uh, I was talking to some friends, and they were talking about this this like this girl, and they're like, <laughs> they're like, they're like, yeah, I think I think she's like I think she's like dating JHB, and I go that can't be true. <laughs> That's me. I like cut in, and I was like that can't be true. <laughs> JHB team has Riz. He does have Riz for the record, but this girl was like, she. I mean, I'm sure JHB could get a Megan Fox. You could, hey, Jonathan, Bonathan, Honathan, if you're listening, you could get a Megan Fox. Is that his name? Yeah, it's his full name legally. Is his name Jonathan? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Wait, now, now that you're saying- Yes, yeah, his name's Jonathan. Wait. Are you sure? No, no, I'm not. Our producer's JHB's <laughs> brother. Producer, can you try this, James? <laughs> I knew it was James, too. <laughs> no. James, look- <laughs> James. James. James, oh, listen. So sorry. Ja James, listen. <laughs> it's because Slime called him Jonathan with authority. And so I was like, hey, Jonathan's his new name. <laughs> ja Dude. Jameson. Jameson, I'm sorry. James. I'll have you guys know, by the way, I did a whole last podcast with James. And it never came out, all right? And yeah, I that's real would like drama. to. I, oh, it's actual drama. Drop the drama. It was painful because that's his bit. <laughs> TBA like, the whole bit. Yeah, the whole bit is for it to be painful. I got, like, a 
expensive ass Uber all the way there and did this whole podcast with James and it never aired. What yeah. the frick? Kim. <laughs> yeah, I hate that guy. I hate that guy. So we're <sighs> never having him on as a guest. Number one, because okay. he's not old enough to drink. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. No, he's not. <laughs> yes, he is. Producer? How old is he? <laughs> On June seventeenth, he will yeah. be of legal drinking can age. We, can we throw his birthday party? <laughs> yeah, we should. I'll come to LA for it. Yes, please. That would be sick. We get him a, a cake that says "Happy Birthday, Jonathan." <laughs> <laughs> for the record, this last five minutes of us talking about JHB, no one else in the world cares about it. Or oh, funny dude, besides us, we're so <laughs> bad about that. It's fine. We just it's love an inside JHB joke. Team. We're bringing our community into we love jhb oh. team genuinely he's one of our favorite people ever um yeah, he's so regardless if he knows it or not but <laughs> regardless um, if we know his first name or not <laughs> regardless if we know his first name or his birthday or, his or if he's dating someone <laughs> or his age <laughs> i was hoping i went to uh i went to timmy's birthday party and ludwig was camping he was doing a 24-hour stream uh-huh. and i spent a lot of time talking to jhb and i uh i uh <laughs> uh, I'm debating if I want to drop this tea. Uh, I'll say this tea. Someone was like, someone was like, okay, I'll f say it. Stands, be careful. This is a big one. Dream was like, cutie, let's take a, let's take a. Oh, you can't. Oh no. No, it's fine. It's fine. Dream is like, cutie, let's take a picture photo booth together. And I was like, this is so f random. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, uh, sure, sure. He's like, me, you, and Toast. And I'm like, yeah, because that trio makes, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm Dude, like, me, sure. Lily Pichu, and Summit 1G. Next. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, this is the most random thing I've ever heard of. And right before then, all of a sudden, I get grabbed by, like, Pokimane. And I'm like, oh, best day of my life. But she's like, she's like, girl's photo. And I'm like, okay. So, girl's photo real quick, and then I was like, I got the dream photo next, it's scheduled, I guess. Um, and then, uh, I hop out, and dream is, like, talking to someone, and I'm like, I don't really care, I don't like photo booths, I don't really yeah. care to take photos, I, I, yeah. you know, I just came to make appearances, shake some hands, kiss some babies, and get out of there. And, uh, and then, so JHB is right there, and I was like, JHB, I was supposed to take the trio of a century photo with dream, and toast but I, I i don't know if i'm like needed for this like maybe i should just like pee pee poof what do you think and he's like let's take a, a picture together and then if he doesn't grab you after our picture you leave and I'm like, thanks jhb great great plan right yeah so we take a picture together and we start walking away it's a great picture it's in my car somewhere um and then i get grabbed and i take the photo with dream and toast i'm like it's so f random um but then i uh <laughs> fast forward to these people talking about this girl and jhb like dating right um they're talking about it and they're like yeah people saw them together at a party like a ton and i was like was it timmy's party i was like do people think i'm dating jhb oh my god this is the best rumor of the century but it wasn't and i was really sad oh. yeah but everyone start the rumor <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Thank Happy you. Mother's Day. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Don't tell Ludwig. <laughs> uh, okay, well, you're... Never mind, I'm not going to talk about that. I saw some... I went down a, a very, a very, very, very quick Twitter hole the other day about that. Me being in a picture with Dream and Toast? Yeah, about you specifically in a picture with Dream and Toast, yeah. Do they like it? <laughs> no. <gasps> what? The people no, I'm not don't like about it? that. No, they, nobody knows about that. <laughs> Except for everyone watching this right now. Nobody knew about that. It's so random. Dream no, like posted know. on his Snapchat and I was like, great. That's so sick, actually. Now a bunch of children have seen this. Well, I need more child fans. Why are we talking about ghost hunting? Oh, because I went on a ghost hunting stream. I forgot who came. <laughs> Besides JHB, I know he was there. Oh, that's right. Jonathan we... was there. He was present. Okay. Um, 
But we show up and it wasn't like a ghost tour where they tell us stories. Yeah. We show up and uh, she has all these doodads like phasmophobia. And I'm like, shit. Because I don't want to mess with that stuff. Like even I don't necessarily like believe in like Ouija boards or whatever, but I don't want to mess oh. around with it. Like I'm not down. And uh, I will say. I'm down. Oh. We should do it. No. <laughs> would you really not? I would not. I would love to watch you and JHB do it, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay. You, you guys do it in one room, and I'm in the next room over, just like uh, people. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, we show up, and she has all these doodads going off. And for the record, nothing too creepy happened that night. We did have, like, a Nazi ghost come over the intercom, which was kind of weird. And then we're like, why does this guy hate Jewish why? people so much? And then... Nikki is from Germany, and she's like, could have been my ancestors. And we were like, whoa! It was crazy. How did you know it was a Nazi? It was saying some sh They saying, had like, someone it over was the intercom Jewish saying slurs. anti That is crazy! It wasn't. It was on the ghost voice box. It was a ghost. There was some anti-Semitic ghosts. It was crazy. I see. Yeah, it was weird. Or it was just the ghost hunter is really anti-Semitic and need an outlet. Yeah, um, that's crazy. Anyway, that's so we I'm have thinking. all these tools out there. And for the record, this this ghost hunter lady, she was dope. She had lots of enthusiasm. Loved her. Um, she didn't know who was coming. Right? It was just a. Uh, it was just a uh, Christine. My oh, assistant. she's a psychic. She's psychic. Christine, my assistant, set up the thing, and so, like, we just show up, and she's like, okay, six people, blah, blah, blah. Um, and we're sitting there, and she turns on, there's, like, these, like, Ouija boards that are, um, like, they look like Palm Pilots. They're, like, automatic ones now that we've upgraded, the Ouija system. Seems like uh, a great way to You got Waluigi <laughs> and then Ouija Ouija. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, and... And it starts, we start, like, you know, she starts talking, she's like, is there anybody here? And it's like, -da -da -da, yes. And we're like, spooky. And then, and then she was like, uh, are you here for someone? And then it said, yes. We're like, oh, spooky. And then we were like, who? This ghost box, because it could only use letters, spelled out myth. Myth has 7 million followers on Instagram. No. Oh. <laughs> you don't think there's any shot? <laughs> so the it was ghost, like... Yes, the ghost oh, was a follower on Myth Instagram. <laughs> and it was like, I loved you in Fortnite. I loved you Fortnite season one. Uh, yeah, I do think the ghost was a Myth fan. That is kind of cool. It was weird. I would like to go on one of those. I think that would be fun. I would more than that like to go to a spooky hotel room and bring a Ouija board. You should do that with like Brit. No, dude, Brit would not do that. I wouldn't do it. Who are you doing it with? You should do it with James. <laughs> I call him that now. <laughs> Um, no, I only think it would be funny if we did it together for one about it. I'm not doing it. Oh, okay. I refuse. Have you had any paranormal ex ex experiences? No. Wait, really? how did we, how did we get here? No, I didn't. I haven't. The only ones that I've had are the giggling in my closet, the scratches when I woke up, and the, um, door slamming. Uh, no. The only, like, I, I would say this is genuinely a weird one and again i don't know if i believe in this sh um the weirdest thing the weirdest thing i swear to this day genuinely this makes no sense <laughs> and i know i talk about dead mom sh all the time the day my mother died i didn't find out until 9 a.m that she was hospitalized at 6 a.m and i'm mm -hmm. a sleepy girl i sleep until 10 p.m 10 <laughs> 10 a.m. You know, like, you know, I'm late to work every day. 6 a.m. I shoot up out of my bed to my mom saying my name. It was the weirdest shit ever. And, and really so then weird. It, it was weird because I thought it was a dream. So I texted her and this again had never happened. And I was like, yo, mom, you good? I had a weird dream. Fell back asleep. 
went to work, got the phone call. But that is the weirdest shit that's ever happened to me. That is very weird. Yeah, it was weird. A lot of people have experiences like that with loved ones, like, crossing over. But that's it. But then also when we went ghost hunting, at the end, the lady was like, do you guys want to talk to anybody? And I was like, all right, this is my cue. And I said, yo, mom, you there? And she didn't answer, so. That she sucks. was not a myth fan. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, eh. The you ghost hunting off. people were like, yeah, I don't know who this is. We have no intel on this girl. <laughs> Uh, at Disney, they have service dogs. Are service okay. dogs, like, slaves? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do that? Are they happy? Uh, I think most of them are, yeah. Really? I mean, they, any, they anybody any can abuse a dog, but service dogs are raised, like, very well and yeah, but have they, they a don't lot get any of pets. training. They absolutely do, just not when they're, they're working. Oh. When oh, they're really? out in public and they have their vest <gasps> on, they're like, oh, that's so cute. but then so when they, they get like home, they're like, five and then they get a play when they go home. <laughs> yeah. So they do get a play. Yep. Oh, Once they take the they vest off, play. they're like pets. Really? Yeah, pretty much. Oh my I god, think. this is the best. Day I mean, in my I've life. never had a service dog, but that's what I understand about it. I, I to... when I um, played soccer in high school. There uh-huh. was this girl on my team. She was a diabetic. She had a diabetic service dog. And he could, like, oh, smell... I've seen those. those oh, I'm so gonna cool. get this wrong. I don't know what it is. Are they smelling insulin? I don't know what it is. But he would, like, smell and then, like, tap her if she was low. And, uh... He would do it while she was playing soccer. Like, what? he would lay on the sideline and then he would get up and, like, paw the air while she was in and then we'd have to take her out. And she'd, <sighs> like, do her little insulin thing or whatever oh my like, god like eat a gummy and then go Where back do you in get it one wild i have no idea i want to get my niece one my niece has diabetes i want to get her one i want to get her one of those i don't know how it works i know like guide dogs for the blind i don't know the other the i other well at disney they have drug sniffers and they do a great job i'll say yeah it. those dogs do not they definitely are like normal dogs when they take their vests off. oh that makes me so happy i was <laughs> they nervous just live in the vest <laughs> It's like they must be their little sniffers must be so tired. No, no, no. It's like it's like police dogs. They get time off too. Yes, they get they're PTO? like someone's. They're do they someone's get paid? dog. No. What are they going to use their money for? Treats. They get them for free. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait. So you tell me. You are a slave to your dog. Oh. <laughs> hmm Whoa. Swift's gotta pee. Up you go. I do go up. Mm-hmm. Swift's gotta eat. Up you go. So if Swift got a job, he's a service dog now. He goes to Disney 9 to 5. He sniffs drugs. <laughs> Swift. <laughs> The fireworks would go up at Disneyland and he would just <laughs> himself. He would be so scared. Wait, has there ever been a service dog that got addicted to crack? No. He sniffed it and he accidentally inhaled some. And I watched like, Cocaine I Bear. Like Did you watch it? No. Holy sh. Was it good? No. Is it CGI Bear? Yes. The bear's okay. alright, actually. It's just the movie's insane. And it, I just, I didn't like it because there's so much gore. So much gore. Oh, I do hate gore. It really hate it. rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, it's not for me. There's got to be a service dog that's gotten addicted to crack. Why do you think that? I don't because know if that's like, because he found it, it and he liked it. And then now he's sniffing out only crack and he gets a little high every single time. <laughs> that sounds like OnlyFans for butts. He like, well, <laughs> he doesn't tell, he doesn't tell the cops every time he like goes over and he's like, oh, I found the mar- marijuana, but then he goes in the other corner marijuana. and he licks the crack. Ew. No. Stop saying it like that. Not the butt crack. Sorry, cocaine. Hmm. What are, are you texting right now? Are you texting on a podcast? No, I've been uh, picking off all of my nail polish this whole time. Oh, okay. You want to see my chips? No. Um, Maya's mom is in town tomorrow, and I wanted Maya's mom to be on the podcast, and Maya said no. Here's the thing. Uh-huh. One, my mom's not, like, a, a, a funny gal TM, right? Like, that's, I could just make like, her one, but, though. No, but then also, I could, I could make you her funny. 
here's here's okay you're so good with parents but it's because yeah. you act like someone who's good with parents but any jokes that like yes. you made around my mom or whatever i feel like she would be like like she wouldn't know what to do she's just not chill with it i joke then, with parents but then also i tell my parents not to watch wine about it and i'm like wine about it is not a part of what i don't worry about it you know just don't watch it don't worry about it and so i don't really want to bring her on there but also i only have like a full day with them and i don't want to be like mom come here let me use you for content yeah she does have little, some good stories. You don't want, she's, you don't want me she's to win a, your mom over. She's an. You already have. I'm a winner. I'm a winner over. She'll adopt me. I'll have a new mom. <laughs> okay, congratulations. Um, then you'll you'll be so jealous. It'll be Christmas time, and you'll be all alone. No, I just don't think it'd be that good. We would have to like. It would feel like an interview. I don't even know. What does your mom have stories about? She got a lot of crazy stories. She got a lot of crazy stories of men. I mean, she she like climbed her way up the ladder in corporate. America, she was a tech head in Silicon Valley as a woman. Single mom. She worked for Apple, she worked for Pixar. Wait, single mom? What do you mean? You have a dad. What happened? She, well, single mom. She, my dad's, my brother's dad is a different dad than my dad. They divorced. And so she yes. and my brother's. Yeah. Do you like them less? My brother's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're right. full blood. <laughs> They're okay. I see. I see. I but yeah, see. I, it's just one of those hit or miss things. Um. Also, I, what? I am sick of giving people so much access to my life. Okay. It's funny that we're saying that now because this podcast is such like a diary. But I'm sick of it, and I want them to have less. I resent it. I resent giving them so much of it. It's a new uh, anger that I've developed. What do you feel guilty about? Because whenever you're angry, there's oh, guilt. <laughs> That's actually so annoying that you said that. Because I don't know. <laughs> but um, I'll talk to her about it on Thursday. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I, I resent, I resent people having so much access to my life. I resent like the need or feeling the need to like explain myself for everything and like respond to everything like i'm just i'm over it like i'm, I'm really wanting to inch out and so i i don't want to have like my family on it um question for you do you think it is justified there's a creator that i know who well this is an old story um there's a creator that i know that forever ago her nudes got leaked <clears throat> And recently, she has found the person who did it. Do you think it is justified for her to tweet out this person's information? No. Really? No. It's never justified to dox? No. Even though they, like, hacked her personal stuff and took her nudes and then spread them everywhere? An eye for an eye. I, I was like, what is that going to do? I would never. Wow. No. I think I would. Yeah, you would. I think I'd do it. Yeah. Um, and then I'd get flamed for it. People would cancel me and I'd be like, you know, what? I think I'd do more. I think I'd find that person's mother. Yeah, no, I think it's fine if you want to like ruin their lives like a normal person. But, but if I have this stupid platform for the sake of having this stupid platform, why don't I use it to burn the world because down. with great power comes great responsibility and i you don't shouldn't. have any power i've got freaking followers on twitter that's no sh that's nothing um you wouldn't no, you shouldn't it. dox people you shouldn't dox people dang yeah that sucks because you can't really sue people either yeah <laughs> it's interesting um there was this big controversy about it happens every year, um, but I saw it because I went to Target today. But there's this big controversy about um, like Pride merch at why like Old Navy and uh, at like Target and at like Gap and Kmart and wherever you buy your clothes. I've seen it. Yeah, people have Pride merch, right? Yeah. And there's always controversy from people being like, "Oh, they're turning the frogs oh, gay or whatever." Sure. 
And I saw I saw an article recently about like Target specifically. And as I was at Target today, I walk in and I see their pride section. And the pride clothes were so fing ugly, they're not turning anyone. Some gay. of them are okay. Like they need to relax. I think there are gay people seeing the pride merch at Target and they're like, I'm straight now. It's so I bad. don't think that's happening. It's so bad. It was designed by an an You're LGBTQ kidding. yeah really? artist. Yeah. It says that on all the tags. One of the shirts, I walked in one of the shirts in the women's section. It's tan. And in yellow, it says queer! Exclamation point. And then it says, in purple, it says queer! Exclamation point. And then green, it says queer! Exclamation point. And then in pink, it says queer! Exclamation point. And I was like, no one's wearing that. I saw, like, a... So ugly. A full-on green denim jumpsuit. And it's completely plain on the front. And on the back, it just says gay. <laughs> huge that's sick like that's it's, cool it's yeah the that's whole cool. back just like says that. gay i like it i like that i'll yeah. take two of those okay i'll steal their valor <laughs> <laughs> i love target um all right well do you want to wrap up with one more story me I have one My more story. story. Oh, okay, go ahead. I assume you do not. Nope. But I also did learn about Wendigos. What's that? Um, it's another. Ugh, gosh, I want to say it's Navajo too, but I don't remember. Um, those are like the emaciated human-looking things that eat people. They're very what? cold. Where do they live? I don't know. In America. Somewhere. What? I'm not sure where. Don't remember. They're like the scarier version of sex workers. Skinwalkers. What? And you yeah, don't know they scary. live? No, I don't remember. I mean, it doesn't matter because they're not real. <laughs> they might be. Uh, they eat people? Yeah. Because they're cold and hungry. What's their motive? How'd they end up that way? They're... That I don't know. Okay, what's your story? I'm ready. That was all. Um, one second. I lost it. I saved it. Okay. Okay. I saved this just because I wanted to share it with you. Oh, this I saw is a Reddit this, thing? This is a Reddit thing that I saw okay. four months ago, and I've been oh meaning God. to bring it up to you for four months. Okay. <laughs> it's insane. It is. Uh, it was on r slash Reddit, choosing beggars, which I didn't know about this Reddit before. Uh, it was posted by user mother underscore customer 7570. It said, it says, literally shaking RN, one of my good friends asked for a favor. If her sister-in-law could stay in my guest room in Miami for her BBL appointment, big regret. And then it has all of their, their text messages, which I'll read with you. So your friend's sister-in-law. Jeez. Right? Okay. Yeah. That alone already feels like... That's crazy. Right. I would never... What was that? I would be... That'd be my brother's wife. I'd be like, hey, Maya, can my brother's wife stay with you? In fairness, I would be like, yeah, but that's different. <laughs> what? But how? <laughs> if you know. said, can my brother's wife stay with you, I'd be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, no. Okay, that's messed up. I would be like... Yeah, I don't want to hang out with her. I bet she's lame. Okay, she's really nice. <laughs> Your brother's wife? Yeah. Name two cool things about her. Um, she likes dolphins and she's a really good mom. Ew. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Okay. It says, hi, um, it, I'm going to fill in the names because she has them scr scribbled out, but we're going to say the person she's staying with, her name is Kelly. Um... Uh, hi, Abby gave me your number. I'm Sam, David's wife. I heard so much about you. Kelly loves you. Hey there, haha. -ha. She would. I love Kelly too. I've also heard a lot about you. Are you super excited for your mommy makeover? Okay, back over here. OMG, yes. 
I feel like I've been planning for it forever, and it's finally here. I'm sure Kelly probably gave you the rundown, but I land on the 24th. Surgery date is on the 26th, but pre-op appointment is on the 25th, and then February 1st would be my only follow-up before going home. Okay, great. Sounds like you have a busy time, right? Mm -hmm. So then host says, oh, uh, oh, you have? I'm sure it can be, it can be stressful. So... I'm literally right next to the FLL airport. Can you give me the address of the doctor's office so I can see where it is for my place? Sure. Gives her the address. Back to the host. Oh, wow. That's near blank. That's 54 minute drive, but with traffic easily an hour and a half from me. Dot, dot, dot. Back to who's the bitch that's staying with her? Sam. Sam. Back to Sam. Well, this is what I'd need. Obviously, a ride from the airport when I get there. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. Obviously, a ride from the airport when I get there. And then a ride for my pre-op. And then for my surgery day and a ride back that day. Along with a ride to my only post-op on the first. Also, a ride to the airport when I leave. Host. Hmm. Maybe you'd be able to use my car... For the non-surgery appointments because that's a two to three hour journey for me out of the day and I have to work. I work from home, but I wouldn't be able to take that much time out of the day that many days, if that makes sense. Also so soon, next week. Sam. No, frowny face. I do not drive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my license either. You couldn't tell your job you need to take me to the doctor's? <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> back to the host i mean for one day probably but you need to go two days in a row and one day i'd need to wait for you while you got your surgery and then drive back typically i could take my laptop and work from somewhere but we're right in the middle of launching our brand new membership so i'm in meetings constantly all day dot 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 you couldn't uber there question mark I didn't realize it was in Kendall. Apparently, Kendall, Florida is where it's at. Okay. Uh, Sam, what? Uber an hour and 45 away? This whole thing was for me to save money since the operation itself cost me over my budget. I budgeted for a hotel near there, but the procedure ate into that cost. Dot, dot, dot. Host. And also, I'm totally cool with you staying in my guest room for a few, but after surgery, you'd need a caretaker of some sort. I wouldn't be able to do that. Also, would you just DoorDash food to yourself while you're here? How would this all work? Sam. <laughs> um, you don't cook? Oh my god. What do you eat? <laughs> Is this real? Yeah. Back to the host. Sometimes, but my boyfriend and I will go out with friends, go out, uh, go out to eat, do takeout, eat at his mom's, etc. So we'd need to be in charge of feeding you, question mark? Back to Sam. Well, you guys are eating anyways. I don't get, I don't get what the hassle you're making is. David said he could give you $100 to take me to my appointments. Host. I'm so sorry. It's not about the money. You caught me at an extremely busy time last night. I didn't close my laptop until 1.30 a.m. We're about to launch our membership product, and I can't risk not being able to make a meeting or something with your doctor office being so far. I don't want to be mean, but you guys just laid this all on me last minute. I can't reorganize my priorities. Sam. Wow. Bas so basically, Kelly lied to me. Cool. Okay. Thumbs up emoji. Yeah, this should have gone back to Kelly way sooner the second the second i got any attitude or any like any of that i would have been like hey what is this fix it you know yeah like that's on her uh back to the host i don't know what kelly said to you but i'm letting you know that my guest room and bathroom is a thousand percent open for you to stay in while you're in town you need to get your own transportation to and from your appointments and provide your own food while you're here. Anything else I cannot do. Which is crazy. You even need to say that to somebody. Yeah. For the record. Yeah. Back to Sam. <laughs> this is where it gets crazy. Okay. Use your thinking brain. Period. 
If I have to Uber six times there and back and it's an hour away, it'll cost me as much as getting a hotel next door. What part of saving money by doing this do you not understand? Oh, my God. The host. The part where you want me to take 10 plus hours out of work scattered on different days, short notice during an extremely busy week. That's the part I don't understand. I'm even extending my vehicle for you to use. Bring a friend with a driver's license and have them drive you to your appointments. Stop. Oh. <laughs> I would not be offering her anything anymore. That's crazy. And this, Sam says, wow, LOL. Okay. Let me just pay a ticket for someone to come to Miami with me for free. This is insane. Now, what am I going to do? Everything has already been scheduled and paid for. And that's where it was, it, it was left off. How did you even come across that? And how did you get so invested in it? Um, number one, I love the drama. Yeah. You saw text more. messages and you were like, yes. I saw text messages and I was like, I'm in. <laughs> I'm invested. Um, yeah, but I, I essentially... Um, essentially, I, I can't even... I don't even know if they ended up staying there. I didn't see a follow-up anywhere. I hope not. I would not do anything for that woman. Really? No. I would have called not. her names. If it was like a like a a medical like a, a necessary medical procedure, I like I felt bad for her, baby. Um, I'm trying to see. She no, no, she that's was... not true. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Unless it was actually going to save her life. I wouldn't help her. Oh, there might be updates. Pause, pause. Uh. Okay, there might be an update. I just had to go. I did use the computer because the original poster was an NSFW account. Oh. So maybe it's not real? Question mark. Am I getting duped and I got so invested? That would be really sad for you. I'd that would really be bad. really sad because I've thought about this for months, clearly. Posts. I don't think so. Um, one month ago. Um, oh, BBL Gate Part 2. The best I could organize for an update currently. Okay. Yes, show me. <laughs> the More following screenshots messages. are my good friend's friends, ex Rumi, who I've been become friends with talking to BBL girl. Uh Oh, it's just her talking sh Shocker. Yeah, it's just her it's just Sam calling the host a bitch. Classic um, Sam. And blaming her because, um, blaming her because she already paid for it, but, We're yeah, a drama lame. podcast now. We're not a good drama podcast because that's all I've got. Because we only have other people's maybe fake drama. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the podcast. <laughs> Um, that's this week's episode. If you would like more of us, check out the Patreon. Yeah! Also, starting this week, if you are a tier two or above Patreon member, your name will show in the credits. Hooray! Da, 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 da. Look at these credits. Maybe they're playing right now. Maya, sing a song so the credits can play. Da, 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 da. Bop. That's too fast. We don't have that many. We have a thousand tier two and above. A thousand five hundred tier two and above. Anyway, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys for sorting with us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, and, uh,. It's bedtime. It's bedtime. Everybody go to bed. Now. Everybody go to bed, especially if you're driving to work right now. Good night. Good night. Like and subscribe.